Okay guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up file flows. It's kind of like TDAR, but it has a better user interface that runs on the same engine. So all I did was Google file flows. This is the website. You can see this is what it looks like. You'll see more once we get it installed. We're going to go to download. We're going to click on Windows. And you're going to make sure you download this first because you need this for it to run. So we're going to click on that. We're going to scroll down here to Windows because that's what we're installing it on. X64. Save that. Now we're going to install this. Okay, so once that's installed, we can close that out. And close this tab. We can scroll down here. We're going to get the stable version. This is the most recent version, but we're going to get the stable version. We're going to get the installer. Download that. Now, Windows Security is probably going to pop up saying it's a virus is because they don't have a, uh, see they explain it here, they don't have a, um, I forget what, it's, the digital signature, they don't have that associated with it, but it's a small scale project, so they don't have the money to afford it. So we're going to click on that, we're going to click on more info. We're going to click on run anyway. We're going to minimize that. Wait for the installer to pop up. There we go. Next, we're installing server. This is all that's needed for the basic flow installation. Install. Hit finish. Okay, this pops up. We're going to allow access. And if it doesn't open up, you can just go to your start menu and click on the file flows icon and it'll launch. Okay, we're going to make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so we're going to hit next for English. We're going to scroll down, accept the agreement. Now you can choose what plugins you want to install. Um, basic, you can process images, um, uh, the uh, meta information on files uh, from like for movies stuff like that process video you can process basically anything with this program uh, it has a discord server uh, interface with docker lets you send emails uh, communicate with M <laughs> I mean it has just tons of stuff but for our purposes here uh, just the default stuff that's selected is just good so we're gonna hit next runners is uh, like with TDAR, these is, is nodes. It's, it's how many processes you want going at the same time. Um, this can be changed later. Um, I'm actually going to put that to two. If you're doing this with your CPU, I would recommend just putting it at one. Um, if you're going to use your GPU, your graphics card, I would recommend two to three. Um, I'm going to hit next. I'm going to hit finish. Okay, so now we're going to create our first basic flow. And we're going to be working with video. And we're going to convert video. So we're going to hit select. Give this a name uh, GPU Video Convert. 
We want our container to be MKV. Video codec. HVEC. Hardware encoding, we'll try to use the GPU. If the GPU encoding fails, it'll fall back to CPU. It gives you the option to detect black bars in the video and crop them. It gives you the option to do that. I'm not selecting that, but you can if you want to. Hit next. We're just going to keep this generic video. You can choose film or you can choose TV, and it'll look up the information for the meta plugin. Um, determine the original language of the show, stuff like that. But we're just going to select video. Quality, we're going to leave it recommended. Hit next. Here, it gives you the option to copy all audio or copy only specified languages. We're going to do that and we're going to choose English. We're going to leave it at English. We're going to hit next. For subtitles, we're going to hit keep only and we're going to choose English only. That way we get rid of all the others. This is the option to whether or not you want to replace the original file or if you want to save the original and save the converted file to a new location. We're going to leave it on replace original because this is just a test folder here. These aren't my originals. Um, but if you feel safer saving it to a folder so in case it, something happens, uh, you can keep your originals. You can easily do that here. This is our flow. What I'm going to do is click on HVEC and I'm actually going to change this to HVEC 10 bit. So I want that to be on 10 bit. I'm going to hit save. a little bit bigger for us here. There we go. So this is this here. Now we need a library. Oh, we didn't save that. We're going to hit that little save icon, save that. See, it gives you a little step two here. So we're going to go to library. We're going to go to add. We're just going to leave it on files. We're going to hit next. And we're just going to name this file flow library. And our path is this folder that I set up here on the desktop. We're going to open that folder. We're going to click up here. And we're just going to hit copy. And then we're going to paste that right there. And we're going to leave that. That's our flow that we created. We're going to hit next, and it's video, so we're going to leave that on video. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to drop our media into that library, and we're going to go to dashboard, and here in just a second, we'll, see, we'll give it a second, see if it automatically scans it. We can go to libraries and we can click on rescan and go to dashboard and now all of our files are here. You can see it we're getting a pretty high FPS that means it is using our graphics card I've got an ARC A750 in here so it's it supports our HVAC uh, 10 bit code that they were using you can see that it's running on two files because we selected it to run two And over 
here you can see it shows these are the ones that we have queued up to go next these are finished these are failed it gives you the option to pause the processing up here in the corner and this will show you how much storage that you've saved weekly monthly how many files you've processed okay you can see now that it's finished with our first two files and so far it has saved us 1.3 gigs off of just those first two files that's pretty mate that's pretty amazing it's going to go through and it's just going to keep on converting these and saving us space i hope this helps you I appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time.